Hey guys, it's Charlotte here from charlotteohara.ca and in today's video I'm going to show you how to name photos or graphics for increased SEO on your Squarespace website. So if you are using a different platform like WordPress then you'll still get a lot from this video but it is targeted specifically to Squarespace in the examples that I'm using. All right, so SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization, and this is basically how a search engine like Google indexes all of the content on a website, whether that's text or images, and makes sure that that is what gets returned in search results. So it's really important, of course, as people know, to make sure that the content of your website, like the text, is optimized for SEO by sticking to certain keywords. But many people forget that images and graphics on your website are just as important for SEO as the text is. So when it comes to having including photos or graphics or images on your website, you really need to name them properly so that you're getting that SEO benefit in both the text and the image place. So I'm going to show you how to make sure that your images are optimized for SEO and I'll just give you a quick rundown here giving a few examples. All right, so I am going to just show you a quick, here's a look at the back end of a website here on Squarespace and I have made a fake blog post here. So in this blog post example, the title of the post is how to name photos for increased SEO in Squarespace. And you can just see I've got some filler blog post content in this section. And then now that I've got the content of the blog post ready, I would like to add an image to my new blog post. So I've gone over to Canva, which is like a free uh, tool that you can use to create graphics or images or anything like that, kind of like Photoshop basically. And I have created a blog post image that I will be then putting into that blog post. So as you can see, I've got up in this section here in the field, this is where I've given a title to my image. And I have done the exact same thing as the title. So I've made it how to name photos for increased SEO in Squarespace. And once I've done this, um, I'm gonna download it by clicking the download button. And once you see this downloading here, I wanna show you how that comes up in terms of the file name, because this is important. So you see here, this is where I've got the downloaded file, and if I hover over it, it shows that the file name is actually called How to Name Photos for Increased SEO in Squarespace, which means that the file name isn't just like download 10123.png. It's something descriptive, including the same keywords that I'm using in my blog post content. So that's really important. That's step one that you always want to make sure that you're doing, is naming the actual file name something that includes the keywords that are going to be matched up with the blog post or the web page content that you're adding that image to. All right, so once you've named the actual file itself, it's time to add that into the website content, so in this case the blog post, and make sure that we're naming it properly there too. So I'm going to add it in to the image section here. Simple drag it over. And now this is the next field that you're going to put it in. So you see where it says file name optional? You want to make sure that you're always filling this out by using the same keywords or the same title that is you know, related to this image. So I'm going to go ahead and call it how to name photos for increased SEO in Squarespace. So again, now I'm showing the same title or keywords in the actual file name, like remember down here that I showed you with the download, but I'm also naming it up in the file name, which is basically like the alt, tech, alt text section. So this is where Google is really going to index it from and make sure that they're pulling the description um, that, you know, this is the descriptor of the image and this is what's going to get indexed into search results. So if I want to, I can even go a little bit further and say, you know, associate it with me even more. So my name, Charlotte O'Hara, or I could add some more keywords like Squarespace Web Design, for example. Anything that you want to in that field, you can add a little bit more and just use little separators here. So I'm going to hit Apply, and now it's going to be saved into the blog post. And another reason, really quickly to mention, is that you want to make sure that you're naming both the file name but also that file name field within the actual image title here 
because when this image here is shared, like once I hit publish and it's shared, and if people start pinning this particular image to Pinterest, the alt text, which is, you know, that field here, the file name field, this is what's going to display on Pinterest. So you want to make sure that that is equally, you know, descriptive and people know exactly what is being um, shared in that image so that when it shows up on Pinterest, it's getting all of that information and being indexed in Pinterest search in engine as well. All right, so there you go. That is exactly how to name photos for increased SEO in Squarespace. If you liked this video, you can make sure to give it a thumbs up or even better yet, leave me a comment down below because I'd love to get those. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button just down below the video. And when you do this, when you hit subscribe, it'll make sure that you're updated anytime a new video is added to the channel. So it's a great way to stay up to date and learn lots of new stuff as the new videos come out. Also, I'd love for you to check out my website, which is charlotteohara.ca, and I've linked to that in the video's description down below. And on my website, I've got loads more tutorials and other content that covers all topics around Squarespace and SEO, as well as website design and development and other general tech tips. So thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye now.